everybody, my name is Bun Bun, and we're going to be playing Doki Doki again. The last, like, 19 hours of me playing has not saved whatsoever, so we're just going to go from where we are. So pretty much, if I remember correctly, we're working on the project for the literature... Hey! The project for the literature club, and Yuri's about to come over, so today is Sunday. So... It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we if we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning about, more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. Uh-huh. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No, it's not okay. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Smart. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that... Ah! That's cold! Fuck! That's really cold. We used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Which makes sense. I've had friends like that before. When I used to live out in Nevada. Then we'd just go over to each other's house. The house is quiet. Hmm. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Joseph! I can see where this is going, but I guess we'll just figure it out. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally found her. Of course you find her in the bedroom. <gasps> that is such a cute moo moo! Oh, that's so cute! Sayori? Hi, Bun. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easier to tell that she's different than to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about? You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Bun? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've been really... I've had really bad depression all my whole life. Isn't that so strange how, like, someone that you know growing up was so cheery and so happy and then, like, you can, like, the thing is, like, you can only keep it in for so long. Like, you can only be so happy in front of people for so long until you break. And that, that same thing happened to me, so I know exactly what's going on. Yeah. That's for another day, though. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Yeah. That's, like, that's depression. I'm sure everybody knows how that is. Like, you don't have, you don't have a reason. Not that you don't really particularly have reason. You just don't have the energy or you don't have the willpower and you don't have the mindset to get out of bed. Like, you just want to sit there, lay there, and just, just die, basically. It gets to that point of where you're at that point in overturn where your depression's so bad that you just, you don't have a purpose. Like, you don't feel like you have a purpose and you don't feel like you have the willpower to get up and you don't feel like you have the motivation to get up. Yeah, it's bad. That hits really deep. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Literally, I'm in shock, too. I would have never guessed that out of that character. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me this entire time I've known her? I, did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Hmm? Why is that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. 
I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. Well, that's really nice. But, like, even... Like, even with depression, like, it's very hard. Like, people around you are just like, oh, like, it's just a phase. Like, you're going to get over it and it'll be fine. Like, you're going to be okay. But, like, in the moment of depression, like, you don't feel like that. You feel like... You feel like there's no end to it. And you feel like there's no... You don't want people to look at you. And you don't want people to notice you because you're so sad. And I'm sure everybody ready to... I don't know why it makes it like that. But, like, it makes sense. That's why I'm your friend. But I don't know why I would feel betrayed in the game. Because, like, it's not... Like, I get it from both angles. I get it from, like, oh, yeah, like, you should have told me. I would have helped. But, like, honestly, there's nothing you can do. Besides just, like, sit and listen to nothing because the person probably doesn't want to talk all you had to do was tell me you don't understand at all bun why do you think i didn't tell you because if i told you then you would have a waste of effort caring about me instead of doing important things i don't want to be cared about it's bittersweet when people try to care about me it feels nice sometimes but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head that's why I want it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. I really like... Okay. Like... I'm not even going to talk. Like, I know how that feels. You're right. That does, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, bun. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped if I if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down in Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. Whew, that really hurts, like, saying those words. Like, that hurts, like, physically, my heart. Like, I just want to give her a hug. Like, I just want to, like, go through the screen and just, like, give her comfort. But, this is, man, this is a computer game. <laughs> it's not supposed to make me feel this way. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sor Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah. Bun, Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Bun. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped, her Sayori remains at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Bun. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want f is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, but the only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let go of her as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah? It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. 
I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, ripes or ice. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If if you did that, then I really would wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me in my house. And at the very least, do you want me to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Um, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Alright. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about when when Yuri is about to come over to. Right.